Welcome here to game day at Peachtree Ridge Park. Today we had the six-year-old Peachtree Ridge Lions playing against the six-year-old Buford Wolves today. We have a couple of guests I'm gonna be interviewing you today. They're former NFL players out here today. You know, just seeing this program that Peachtree Ridge is really hosting out here is a really good program we have out in this facility out this way. You know, just come on down and show, grab a bite. We have beverage and stuff, sandwiches and stuff for these people and kids can have fun and sit here. You got the six year, six year old cheerleader that won the cheer off last week, actually won first place. And on what our team we have, our team is actually undefeated. So we're just going into this season right now on a very positive note. Game and today, what do you think about the game today between the Beefer Wolves? I think it's um, really about us. I think if we execute and if the kids do a great job, they've had a wonderful practice this week, if they just tackle and carry out their assignments, I think we should come out and have a victory. All right. I know. Um, how long have you been in this PC Ridge program? It's like it's a pretty good program they have here for the kids. It's an excellent program. Six-year-old. Um, I've been coaching. This is my first year. Coach Randall Godfrey asked me to come and join his staff, and it's been an absolute pleasure dealing with these kids. We've had excellent um, parent participation, support from all the fans, and man, I'm looking for big things. Today is a huge day for us. We get a chance to win the divisional championship, and I'm excited for the kids. All right. Well, I know we're here. We don't have that much time with um, Coach um, Harrison here, so we're going to let him get back on the field, and maybe we'll get back to him later on this afternoon. Well, I appreciate it. Go Lions. Right. Welcome back to game day here at PC Ridge Park Soft. We have here former Atlanta Atlanta Falcons player Ray Buchanan here. He also coached the Peachtree with 12 year old boys team. Just want to ask you a few questions. How is your team doing this year? So far, we're doing pretty good. Four and two. You know, the kids play very well out there. They give they all. You know, I tell them always to put God first, family second, academics next, and this football is after that. And, you know, I just try to give them everything they got playing the game and, you know, I can't go to my grave with the knowledge I know, but at the youth level, it's so pure. You know, their minds are so open and their brains are like sponges, so they catch on well. Well, okay. Well, well I hear the pretty good things y'all have going on in this piece. Of wood. What can I, what can you let the fans know and some of the people know about this program over here at Peachtree Ridge? All right, Peachtree Ridge be bringing it. You know, we got some great coaches. You know, the one thing about Peachtree Ridge compared to a lot of other league uh, uh, teams in the GFL is that we do have a lot of professional athletes uh, that's out here coaching. Uh, you got Rodney Harrison, of course, coaching, you know, with me and your son. And then we also have uh, Randall Godfrey out here. You got Tony Jones, you know, Denver Broncos. So the Denver Broncos, Patriots, uh, you know what I mean? You, you got it. You got the name. So you guys should be privileged to be able to have guys that know that much about the game. But not only that, you do have parents out there that have their kids out there that's actually played the game before either in high school or college. And, uh, you know, so we try to share as much knowledge as we can, you know, because this game is all, it's real mental. You know, you go out there, you hit. You play right. physical, you know, you run the football, you block, you know, and, and a lot of kids here, you know, they're real receptive to going out there to do it right away. Right. And when was this win today between uh, this game between PC Ridge and the Beaufort Lions, you predicting us to win today? Oh, absolutely. What's our record? 5 0? Oh, we 6 0. 6 0? Well, I mean, right after this one, we'll be what? 7 0. 7 0. So, you know, you got to think positive. That's the way I look at it. And I think that going up against Buford is, is, is another challenge. Buford always, you know, produce good fruit no matter what. I mean, all the way up to their high school level. But it started here at the six year old. So I think we can start tearing them down right now at six years old. I think we can break their confidence on all the way up to the, to the uh, high school level. All right. When well, you see that game last night between Peachtree Ridge and Collins Hill? High yeah, school you game. know, I did see that. That was a very good game. Um, Collins Hill, you know, played very good, man. They, they run a spread offense um, and they went out there and they handed it to Peachtree. Peachtree just wasn't ready. Uh, they gave up too many passes early, got behind early, and then tried to, you know, dig their way out of the, the hole at right there towards the end so they end up losing 14 to 10. Sweet little thing is my son finally uh, coming back off an of injury uh, plays a free safety went out there and you know tried to set it off by getting an interception but he know it runs in his blood so he couldn't, yeah. he couldn't <laughs> help but go out there and go make a play but he's real they sitting in the, they're still sitting in a real good sp uh, position to uh, make it to the playoffs and um, they got another tough game going to be coming up against North Cross and then I'm pretty sure they got North Gwinnett uh, right after okay. that. Oh. Welcome back here at PC Ridge Soft here at, here at game day. We have um, the six-year-old coach here, former NFL player, Randall Garford here. I want to ask you a few questions about the game today between the Beef of Wood. Well, we know it's going to be a tough game. You know, they're a good team, well-coached team. They're 5-1, and one, and we're 6-0. We're and oh. uh, Looking for my guys to come out and have a good game. I just told them to play hard. You know, they practice hard. We practice against seven-year-old seven -year kids each and every uh, time we get a chance to practice. So it, we should be ready to go. we got a good plan. Okay, well, um, 
looking for um the head of the day um here i'm going to ask you another question about this um going into this rec league what do you think about this pc red rec league they had here for the kids oh we love it we love it i mean anytime we can give back to the community especially uh my coaches you know some of us have played some nfl ball and and uh, it's our job to get back to these kids and make sure they're going in the right directions, you know, because a lot of us, we didn't have that growing up. So anytime we get a chance to reach back and give back to the community, especially uh, touch a young kid's life, it's important to us. Okay. And, um, you know, I know I have a son on your team, uh -huh. and, you know, uh -huh. and seeing the coaching staff you have, you have a very... You no know, good coaching staff out there, you know. Can you say a little thing about your coaching staff you have out there? Well, I tell you what, I mean, we got a great group. Uh, starting with our offensive line coach, and that's Ronnie Rochelle. He's got the guys ready to go uh, each and every week. And of course, our defensive coordinator, uh, Rodney the Hitman Harrison, uh, he always had a defense aggressive. And, and uh, we got Derek Walden, he's a, a special coach. I mean, he coaches the, the, uh, 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 the skill guys, of course. and. And uh, Nate Wayne, another coach who's missing today, but he's an outstanding coach, had seven years of experience in the NFL. So uh, we put together a great staff, and, and uh, I can't forget Robert uh, Luciano. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's a mastermind, okay? So he give us advice on what to do, and, and he helps with the D-line. So we got a great group assembled, and uh, we look forward to riding with this group for a long time. Okay, well, yeah, with that, with that um, people, we have um, Coach Randall Goffin here for the six-year-old PC Red Line here. And we'll be back with you right after this. Hey, I'm Trisha Milo with your one minute. Are you ready to reach over a half a billion potential customers by branding your business with video marketing? Let us take your one minute elevator speech and turn it into a video profile. This video profile now becomes your business card on social media networks. Your message goes out 24-7 to your target audience, and they get to know you, like you, and trust you. And as we all know, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. So if you're ready to record your one minute, call me today, Trisha Milo, at 404-580-5737, or visit us online at Your One Minute.